Hello YouTube. So today we're going to look at uh, some project settings that we have been not doing so far. So in order to model something in Maya, you actually have to uh, set your project first, which is important on the later run. So we're going to start doing that right now. We're going to talk about some shortcut keys that might be handy. And we're going to talk about extrude and as loop techniques, which are very essential tools in Autodesk Maya. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to file and before we start up any project. So anytime you actually do this, uh, open up my, you actually have to do this if you want to save your project properly. So let's do that. So let's go to file. Let's go to project window right here. So if you're opening up a new project, what you have to do is you have to go to set project. And if you're entirely creating a new project, just go to project window right here. So I'm going to go to project window and just click new. So this is going to be my tutor tube project, tutor tube project, just like this. And uh, location, I'm just going to use my desktop right now. So I'm going to select my location. So it's loading up the Explorer right there. Load it. So go on the uh, desktop. I'm going to just say select. And on the desktop, I'm going to press accept just like that. And once I press accept in the desktop, you can actually see. Uh, okay, let me press just press desktop. You can see that the tutor tube folder is located right here. So inside this folder is going to be my uh, all of my files that are important to me. And in the scene, I'm going to have all my Maya files. This is where I'm going to add in my textures, my sound and so forth. So uh, this is very important if you want to uh, be very managed with your files. So let's go back to Maya just like this. And then let's go to uh, file and create a new scene. So let's save this scene. So in order to save this scene, uh, you can see that once I create my project, it actually sets my project onto, I haven't set my project yet. So once I create the project, I have to go to file again and set the project as well. So let's go to set project and I'm going to actually select the same folder. So it's loading up. So select the same folder and press set. And if it isn't a Maya folder, it actually will show an error. So I'm going to go to file and we're going to go save scene. So once I save scene, I can actually press control S. So uh, what I want to do is as I model, I want to uh, create different iterations of the file. So, uh, okay, let's just set the scene. So did I set the project? All right, so set the project again, uh, just double check. All right, so there you go. I'm gonna go to two to project, let's just set it. Go to file, save scene, and then uh, let's go there. All right, loading up. Go to tutorial inside. I want to save my files in under scenes, just like this. I'm going to save this as my uh, furniture one. Okay, let's design some simple furniture right there. All right, furniture one and save as. All right. So I'm going to uh, press continue. I'm I am using a student version of Maya, which is uh, available for free of cost if you have a .edu account. So if you have a edu account just go to autodesk maya and then sign it up and you get a free uh, version of maya all for your computer so i'm going to continue using this so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a furniture let's say around a, a chair uh, by using some more tools in maya so what i want to do for that is i'm going to grab a polygonal tool all right so then just grab the polygonal tool just like this drag this up and let's say i want to create a chair like shape so Let's just create a simple bench like shape first. So I'm going to drag this out right here. So we were using the divisions right here. And if I have the S loop, I usually don't want to use the divisions. So once I press, um, so usually in real life, what happens is that my edges are not this sharp as you can see right here. So this is very, very sharp. So, and if I were to smooth this out, if I were to press three, it's actually going to smooth everything out, which I uh, don't really want. But if I were to use as loop, so if I were to press and hold shift, right click and go to insert as loop tool, what it actually allows me to do is it allows me to click on an S and it'll actually create a loop around that S. So if I were to click over here, it actually creates a loop around this S. So once I press three, you can actually see that the edge uh, is not really sharp anymore. So if I were to add three S onto the side, so it's gonna create an S loop or just like this at the S, create an S loop, press three. You can see that now if I were to go to object mode, I actually have a smooth surface like the, these, which are uh, a real life object like scenario if I were to have that. 
So now I'm going to do an S loop tool as well. And if I want to create an S loop, what actually happens is that um, I want to create uh, access shortcut, key, shortcut keys easily. So if I were to press Q, I'm actually on my selection tool. If I were to press W, then I'm on my move tool right here. If I were to press E, it's gonna go for rotate tool. And if I were to go for R, then it's gonna go for my scale tool. So these are some handy, since I need to change uh, from option to option on my left side, it's actually beneficial to remember these keys around. Uh, just like that. So I'm going to use these keys right here on this option right now. All right, so let's go back to object mode, create a simple like a simple chair-like structure. So what I want to do first is I want to create a basic shape. So I'm going to create a shape just like this. Go to the side view so that I get some object right here. Drag up to set some height just like this. All right, then I want to create a bench-like shape. So I want to insert some S loops right here. So insert some S loops over here. Insert some S loop right there. Insert some S loop right there as well. And insert some uh, S loop over here as well. Maybe no, not there. I don't need it there. I just need a bench like shape. So just go over here and go over here. All right. So my bench is not this long actually. Uh, let's say I want to create two benches, no problem. All right. If I were to press three, I got my smoothness, but I'm going to add it later on as well. So what I want to do is I want to extrude now. So I'm going to select my face, click this, hold shift and click this, hold shift and click this as well. So I want to uh, actually extrude this out. So let's go for extrude. And you can see that I actually get this handle right here. And if your handles are actually uh, not the straight, uh, straight in a straight line just like this, you can actually press the power button right here. It'll actually get it to straight line. I'm just going to extrude just like that. And you can see that the extrusion is happened. So I got my basic bench like shape, right? Just like this. Let's say I want to design my bench. So I'm going to uh, end my S loop right here. I'm going to add another extrude just like this. So just press extrude, wrap this up, and then use the scale tool, press uh, R, and then remove the scale tool just like this to create a roundish like shape. And so I'm just going to select this shape right now, this one and then move this up just like this. All right, I got my basic shape just like that. Go to the bottom part. So select four of the shape, press shift, hold shift, and hold shift. I'm gonna extrude this out. So press extrude, drag this down just like that. All right, there you go. So I got my basic bench-like shape. So I got my object, just drag this to the top just like this. Uh, press space, all right. So drag this and make sure that it is on the surface right now. There you go, all right. So I can duplicate this uh, bench, but before that, I want to add some uh, details to this. All right. So let's say I want this to have a bit of a design. So I'm going to add in some S loop just like this and then uh, grab my vertices on the bottom part just like this and then grab my space. Let's drag it out just like this. All right. There you go. So I got my bench. So if I were to press three, you can see that I actually got an interesting design. So I don't really want to add this. So what I want to do is once I press smooth, I actually want this to remain sharp, these areas to remain sharp. I want this area to remain sharp, this area to remain sharp. Let's say I want this area to remain sharp as well. So let's give it a bent like shape. So let's select my vertices, grab this out and then grab this out to the side just like this and grab this out to the side just like this as well. All right. So I got a bent like shape just like that. All right, there you go. So if I have to press three, I see that I got my bent like shape just like that. All right, now what I want to do is I want to add in some S loop. So I want the edges to be quite sharp. So what I want to do is I'm going to go to options. So shift, right click and insert S loop just like that. And then at the S, I'm going to add an S loop at, the, at this side. All right, at this side as well. And make and S loops only work when you have quad faces. So that's something that you have to keep in mind. All right. So if you actually delete a vertices and so forth, you just have three spaces, uh, three uh, fa uh, face areas or five uh, divisions, then S loop will not work. So I have four in this case. So S loop does work over here. So you have you must have quad faces in order to uh, for S loop to work. So if I were to press three then you can see that my S loops are actually working. So I'm going to add loop and S loop over here as well, uh, this space as well. So I want an 
a sharp edge over there as well. So let's see, press three and see the smoothness. All right, so I want the smooth, um, sharpness over here as well. Press the S loop over here and an S loop over here. Press three, there you go. S loop over here and S loop over here. S loop on this side as well and S loop on this side as well. There you go. S loop, press three and there you go. At the bottom as well, I'm gonna add two S loops because I want a sharp S right there. Two S loops right over there. Uh, two S loops at the bottom as well. And two S loops at the bottom as well, just like that. All right, there you go. So press three and there you go. Uh, maybe I want to keep this a bit uh, smooth. So I'm gonna add S loop right at the side. So you can see I got the smoothness that I want. And at the top, maybe I want some design. Uh, I want the design to be smooth, so I am fine with this. Let's add the design at the top if you want some S loop. All right, so let's add in some design just like that at the top. And there you go. That's the S loop. Okay, there you go. So maybe I am okay with the smooth one out there. So I'm going to press Control Z and the S loop is gone. Control Z again. All right, so this is what I want. Let's go back to object mode. And you can see that the area is becoming too sharp right here. So I may want to adjust that out. So grab the vertices right here and then move this to the side. All right, so that's not working out. Let's just delete this out. Um, okay, so let's move this to the side. Just grab this to the top to create a design just like that. All right, okay, there you go. So this is not actually working out because like you can see that this is too sharp for my taste. So just grab this out and then uh, grab the vertices out just like this go over here to the vertices area grab it to the side to see what kind of effect i can actually give all right so that's not giving a pleasing effect right there so let's just grab the, these vertices out just like this all right so grab these vertices out let's scale this down a bit just like that all right that gives a smoother look all right there you go so there's my bench so what i want to do now is i want to give it a curvy like look so i insert an s loop right in the center so let's go insert an S loop. Sorry, insert. I have to be on the object mode for this. All right. So if you are on the vertices or face or S loop, this might not work. So you have to be on the object mode. I'm going to go to the S loop again, go to the object mode, shift right click and insert S loop just like that. Insert the S loop right here and then go to vertices. Drag the vertices down just like this. Drag the vertices down. Oh, that's too much. It's just a bit. See, all right, there you go, continue. And there you go, that's my bench right there. So what I want to do, uh, I'm going to do is go to file, go to save scene as, and then in the save scene as section, okay, sewing up, sewing up, sewing up, all right. So I'm, I wanna save this as furniture too, so just so that I can access my old files. So this is a type of a manual incremental save, just like that. So I can create multiple, uh, uh, benches, so press shift D and you can see that I can actually duplicate this out. So there you go. Those are my multiple benches right there. So you can actually create multiple benches, shift D, drag this out and there you go. I got my hallway filled just like that. All right, there you go. So there are my benches. So just create, uh, to create a room like structure, I can actually grab my uh, space right here, select the face. I'm going to delete this face out delete this face out as well, and delete this face out as well. It's showing black for now. Let's not just worry about that. And there you go. There's my benches inside a room, just like that. So this is how you create a model, a simple model by using uh, extrude and S loop techniques and by shortcut keys. And this is how you actually set the project window. So hope this actually helped you guys understand polygonal modeling in Maya more. So hope you guys continue uh, checking out my channel as always and hope you guys learn as something as always. And of course, as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.